Hi, welcome to my channel, Rohit Speaks. And in today's video, we're going to talk about is aspartame. Aspartame has recently been in the news as being a carcinogen or something which can cause cancer. But what is the fact about it? What is the truth behind it? So we're going to talk about what is aspartame, what does it do in your system, and then you can decide if it is causing you cancer. But a short answer is it is safe. So let's start with <clears throat> what is aspartame? So aspartame is nothing but is a zero calorie sweetener. It's 200 times sweeter than your normal sugar. So your normal sugar is sucrose or your table sugar or the crystal sugar you see that gets broken down into two molecules of glucose. And that is being used up in your system, okay? So sucrose, whatever sweetness it gives you, aspartame is 200 times sugar, is uh, sweeter, sorry. So if you need one gram of sugar to make something sweeter, you will less, need 200 times less of that, of aspartame to make that thing sweet. And it is present in all your drinks. And you have seen your Diet Cokes, your Diet Pepsis, your Coke Zeros, everything. Whoever ever says low calorie or no sugar will have some amount of aspartame in it. So recent news, it's, this is a Nature article, by the way. Nature is one of the elite publications. And they said that aspartame is a possible, possible, the word here is possible carcinogen and the science behind the decision. So WHO, the wing, that World Health Organization, there was a team which decided and they looked at multiple studies and they say it could be, or it is. there is a possibility that it could be a carcinogen. But there are so many exceptions. There are so many conditions to make it a carcinogen. And it, it's aspartame alone, if you drink one or two or three Diet Cokes, it is not gonna cause you cancer, but let's, we'll talk about it. And also there are, I think there were multiple questions about diet drinks that will it make will make you gain fake diet, will increase your insulin levels and will also change your gut microbiome. Basically the bacteria is in your gut, which helps you digest, which keeps you healthy. It will also alter that. So we'll address all this in today's video. So aspartame, aspartame is nothing but it's, it, so you might have listened or learned about amino acids. So amino acids are the building blocks of your protein, which makes you, so protein is made up of amino acids, just a bunch of amino acids sitting together. So one of that block is aspartic, uh, aspartic acid. So aspartame is a product of that. It has an extra phenylalanine, which is also another amino acid, and a methanol, which are combined together and forms an aspartame. So when your body consumes aspartame, it gets broken down into aspartic acid, phenylalanine, and methanol. Okay, aspartic acid and phenylalanine, they two are amino acids. They need, they are required in your body. So eating aspartame actually gives you amino acids in your system, so which can help you make your proteins. Okay, so they are good. Problem here is methanol. Methanol is something which your body doesn't require, and liver tries to remove it, and excess of less methanol can cause liver toxicity or the liver cancer or hepatic cancer. And I'll talk about how it can cause it, but let's learn about methanol first. Met the lethal limit, so the amount of methanol which you can consume and will, will kill you is 50 grams, okay? And one can of Diet Coke, the amount of aspartame in that Diet Coke is, will give you only 0 0.018 grams of methanol, okay? So you, when you consume one can, you will get only this much. If you consume 10 cans, you will get 0.18. If you consume 100 cans, you'll get 1.8. Still, it is miles apart from the lethal dose, okay? So you'll have to consume more than 2,000 cans just to kill you with methanol poisoning. Anyways, that being said, carcinogen. Now, if you're consuming, let's say, one, two, three cans of a day, you're not consuming enough to let your liver work out and remove that methanol because... I'll say that because even though you're consuming just the Coke or Diet Coke, tomato juice alone, one glass of tomato juice alone will give you four times more methanol than a can of Diet Coke. So imagine, methanol is not just in aspartame, it is also in your foods, which has got broken down and your liver tries to excrete it out. So if you are just consuming or your liver is already compromised on top of that, you're consuming Diet Cokes, or you had some issues in your past, or you have some genetic issues, even small, small 
if you consume like five, ten cokes a day over a period of time, then it might lead to cancer. That also I'm saying 10 is still a limit. I think you have to drink more than 20 just to and over a period of time. It's not just that you drank for one month or two months. It has to be years to cause it to be a carcinogen. So aspartame is le legally, it's safe and it's it's a possible carcinogen if you are already compromised. Okay, that is the thing. What about insulin spikes? So I already talked about diabetes in my previous video. Insulin is a hormone which has to absorb the blood glucose and give it to your organs. The word here is glucose. When you take aspartame, as I talked about, it is not giving you glucose. It is giving you two amino acids and a methanol. Okay? It's not glucose. It will give you a sensation of sweetness which is in your tongue and goes to your brain. That's it. There is no glucose coming out inside your body. So your insulin is not going to get spiked by aspartame. Many other foods which might have some sugar will cause insulin spikes. But when you drink a Diet Coke or a Diet Pepsi or whatever it is, or you're consuming aspartame, you're not removing glucose. Hence, there won't be any insulin spikes. So always remember, only glucose can cause. Only glucose is the thing which will cause you insulin spikes. And glucose can come from sugar, from other food which will be broken down into sugar. Aspartame doesn't give you glucose. Keep that in mind. So of all that topics, aspartame is pretty safe. And the safe limit given by federal FDA here is 3.5 grams a day. That is equivalent to 18 cans a day. And that is still your safe. It's not enough to cause any poisoning or any of the issues. But I'm not saying that you have to consume 18 grams, 18 cans of uh, can a day, but it's pretty safe. Like you have to literally constantly constantly be drinking diet coke to make you sick or make you make sure make that you get some cancer or you will have issues in your body. Another alternative to aspartames or all these zero sweeteners are a natural sweeteners. There are monk fruit sweeteners, which will be available, I think, in the uh, good stores. And then there is this stevia. Now, stevia is an extract from a leaf. They might have a little bit of aftertaste when you do it, but they are sweet. But there is a little bit of bitterness later. So people are, or I think companies are working on it to remediate it. So hopefully in this video, I was able to give some knowledge about aspartame. It is pretty safe. You have to consume like a lot of aspartame to make sure to get yourself a cancer or it causes some kind of post. And aspartame doesn't cause any insulin spike because it is not increasing glucose, okay? It is broken down into amino acids, which is helpful for your system and then methanol. So aspartame or the zero sweetener or the artificial sweetener is pretty safe. Hopefully you learned something about it and make sure you pass on this knowledge to others. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.